Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and it is dark and early on Wednesday morning. It's Dialdo Day, Earth players. Our day has come. Our top tier tank has arrived in the game. So let's break down this patch and look at the best way to get Dialdo and the rest of what's going on. And we will start where we normally do in the purchase bonuses. Now, the whale bonus is the 100 Dialdo shards, which I like. Although I prefer if the other half of this bonus is something related to transcendence and not blossoms. Like transcendence is our newest thing. Uh, personally, for me, I need those transcendence materials more than I need blossoms of paradise. Some other people uh, do need blossoms though so either way I will make this whale purchase bonus happen mostly for the 100 Dialdo shards then your daily bonus is going to be the five Dialdo shards note that we got scrolls on day two which is really nice and then those shards start coming in at the end of the week now this video is not directly sponsored by Amazon today but I do want to mention that one if you're buying Vizior please do use my Amazon coin affiliate link and I have a special Amazon coin affiliate link for Prime Day that will just take you to your Amazon homepage where Amazon has hooked me up through the end of um, Amazon Prime Days with just really big returns on any purchases that you guys make on Amazon if you get there through my affiliate link. So here's what my homepage looks like. You can see that it's a bunch of like nerdy stuff like anime, rings of power, and streaming gear with some colored pencils so my whole life if you ever doubted that i live the life that i say i live i buy streaming stuff and i buy school supplies on amazon if you buy anything on amazon and use my link i'm getting like five to ten percent on a lot of the stuff y'all buy so go buy a porsche a ferrari a new home all of the uh, all of the above on amazon it'll just hook me up more than usual this week so thank you to everybody who uses my link to buy things it's a huge part of my like monthly income. So thank you all. Now let's continue with this patch. If you are summoning for Dialdo, there's a little bit of a different way to go about this that I think you would have before. Again, note Warrior the Crystal Banners don't have that pity bar. That's a hashtag feels bad and it's still that. No pity bar here. So you're going for coin pity. You have to plan on coin pity, I think. Let me walk you through how I would get there. This is free viz, right? And Dialdo is sitting at a drop rate of only 0.4%. Pretty standard fare for 100 cost unit. Rysol Vega also on here at that 0.15. The Warriors of Darkness, right? That's what they are. Now, you have this banner, the two times only step up. You want to do this banner. This is a very important banner for um, having any sort of discount on pulling for Dialdo. It's free viz. The first pull is only 1,500. And then most importantly, the third pull comes with guaranteed shards. So if you do have to go to pity, you are building coin pity on these steps. And you, if you have to pity, you'll at least walk out with 80 Dialdo shards. It feels better than walking out of there with zero. Just so much better. So make sure you're doing this banner. Do not ignore it. You'll come away with some energy potions, which some people, you know, give or take for some people. Still start here or start here on the Mind Sphere banner. If you're going to build them up, you also need the Mind Spheres. This comes with the coins as well. If we look at the drop rates for these banners a little bit, you'll see Dialdo is boosted on this one, but um, his fellow Warriors of the Darkness are not. If we scroll down and just see if they're on here at all. Are we looking for Rulgia? Mm, yeah, they're Rulgia and Vega. They are on here, but just at that 100 or that regular 100 cost rate and the game just uh, crashed. So let me uh, let me boot that back up real quick. That's probably going to be the case for that step up as well. One thing I didn't anticipate coming, and I just kind of noticed today, is that step up, it, it feels a little awkward on normal banner days because a lot of times you just want to use the banner with the pity bar because that pity bar's reward is either a 25% chance to pull the unit or it pities the unit for you and then you save all your coins with no pity bar for warrior of the crystal units or warrior of the darkness units like uh rulgia here or not rulgia but dialdo rulgia etc that three step is a big deal so real quick i'll just confirm that the boot rates on here are the same there he is at 0.4 and again the other ones are going to be less there is the paid vizior banner this is a good option if you have some paid vizior because it will get you more guaranteed shards and a couple free pulls and then there's this one i probably won't pull on this one you do have that two percent chance of hitting him 
but it's only giving you 50 medals so it does not make you a step closer to pitying him and so that that's kind of a feels bad for me that's why i'll stay away from that one okay if we go look in the mog shop it it says when you get those medals that you can trade in those medals for fabulous rewards. By fabulous rewards, of course, it means the unit himself because you're probably going to have to pity him. There it is. There he is. And there's my, uh, somebody said the other day, they're watching one of my dark and early videos and they're like, yep, that dark and early morning burp. And I don't know why, guys. I, I, something about waking up and then first thing I do is film a video. I have to like, my body just be, is weird at 4 a.m. or whatever time it is right now. So you're gonna, here's where you could pity him. Here's where you can get your shards. Or if you want to trade it for other unit shards, there are the other Crystal Darkness Warriors in here and Perrine. So, um, okay, if you do that, it is what it is. Let's look at the shop. There's a couple interesting things in the shop that you're gonna want to keep in mind. Nothing new in the special shop today, the deluxe shop. So there is a 300 daily rainbow pack. The only people going here, I think, are gonna be people who are just desperately short on these. 300 paid viz is a lot for this stuff, in my opinion. There's this unit training pack that has fragments of thoughts and awakening prisms for 300 paid. Even if you need those, I'd probably stay away from that one. The training support pack is a little more interesting. It's 500 paid. You're getting 30 affinity and JP keys. Now, here's the deal. 30 affinity keys hits a lot harder today than it did about two months ago. This is 10 maximum runs. This is 10 maximum esper affinity runs in the room so 500 paid for 10 you know maxing out 10 espers on five units isn't terrible if it was 300 i'd call this a really good deal at 500 i think it's get it if you need it i personally don't and then there's this normal 1000 paid for 80 scrolls maybe if you're like close to finishing off max reincarnating or something like that okay this one now here's another little boost to the dialdo banner we are getting a daily free ticket for him if you combine this with the login rewards let me let's make sure about something real quick right here let's go look at what the login rewards this week are um so where is it anniversary shops anniversary summons oh uh, they didn't add it to the news here so okay summon for servants of the darkness i want to see the login bonus do 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 where is it? Okay, that's Dialdo Darkness Festival campaigns. Here we go. So yes, we are still getting summon tickets for him. So here's two summon tickets. Here's two more summon tickets. So that's four plus two a day or one a day from the shop is seven. That's 11 free pulls. If you wait until the last day to pull for Dialdo, you will have more than a 10 pull for free. That's not bad. That is actually a compelling argument for waiting to pull this guy. This free daily ticket. I hope this stays in the game for a long time. It's a it's a, it's a boost. It's a boost. It's a bonus. I'll take it. And they did not get rid of the normal daily purchase uh for shards. It's still right here too. So make sure you're picking up both of those for free every day. And then hopefully some people are getting some free Dialdo shards. If we look at the rest of the shop, the unit training support pack, that's a no. Um you could buy this up to three times, but just stay away from that. There's really nothing in here for Vizior that I would suggest getting. Again, just buy the stuff for Gil if you need it. For Dialdo shop himself, there is a 300 paid summon ticket. So here's another 10 pull. Again, if you bought this and just waited till the end of the week. You're at 21 pulls for Dialdo. Not bad. Not bad for 300 paid. There's also this pack right here, which will get you 40 uh, or 4,000 Vizior worth of pulls for 3,000 paid and comes with elemental materials. There's the training pack, which is 80 shards for 2K and 10 rainbow balls. And then just the regular stuff after that, including shards and leveling materials. And guys, that's gonna be it. That's it for this patch. Not a ton in there, but a little bit of a maybe different strategy this week if you're pulling for Warrior of the Crystal units. Now, of course, I will be live later today doing my polls, so make sure to stop on in and watch that and then thank you all for watching my videos and using that amazon link i'll have it pinned in the comments from now basically until the end of prime day so hey if you use it i appreciate it a lot you just click that link buy anything you want off amazon and then they just give me some money so i'm excited about that they hooked me up with that offer i'll pass well 
just thanks have a good day everybody i'll catch you next time peace